Hello, this is uh, Dave and welcome uh, to Equity Story. I'm with the uh, Amazing Wolf and this is just general share advice and not personal advice. And uh, apologies to everyone being a bit late today. Uh, sometimes these things happen. Um, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it the trains again? Is it Dave in Sydney or the best the best city in the world, is it? No, it's because I haven't worn a tie for about 20 years and I took me ages to work out how to put one on, Wolf, to be honest with you. So, so God, I know. You look a bit uh, weird. I know, I feel weird, but we're going to do a presentation tonight talking. So I've uh, got to look a bit smart, mate. Um, uh, for a woman and a person, it, this is a really different look. Yeah, mate, they think I'm from Mars. If I, if you walk, walked in Wolverhampton with a tie, they go, mate, who's that guy? He must be from another planet. Yeah. If you turn up like this back in Wolverhampton, they'll probably hang you with it. Yeah, they would, they would, mate. Or the, you get mugged, they think you've got some money, they'd mug you because no one can afford a tie. Oh, oh right. let's go. And guess what? Uh, I've got Izzy coming in. This is what I love about live. I've got Izzy look, with a coffee. Is the oat milk in there, Izzy? Hi, everyone. Yeah, look at Izzy. There's Izzy. <laughs> is the oat milk in there? Thanks, Izzy. Oh, Izzy. Oh, what? I know. He, he's the best looking uh, girl I could find to bring me coffee. He's all right. All right, Wish let's go. That's the case. Okay, let's go. We've got some announcements today, Wolf. And uh, yes, can I go good. where, can I go which, what I'm liking? I'm liking XRO. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's watch it, see where this is by the end of the week. But you want to buy positive announcements, Wolf. A great story. This new CEO is uh, taking the company by the cojones and he's sorting it out. Yeah, by the scarf. <laughs> yeah, look, you know, I, I think, I think from my side, it's great to see. And I know, Claude was fairly skeptical on XRO because of the cost, because of the cash flows. So I think this is going to be addressed now uh, with the CEO where he's come in, decided to take a tack of, we are going to be looking after the bottom line. We're going to be looking after costs. So they're going to sack a few people. That looks like he's going to write down one of the companies they bought that really, you know, it's been a disaster pretty much. Uh, so he's taking a pretty much a broom to, to, to XRO. And the, the market saying, yes, yes, this is exactly what we want, right? So very positive reaction. I like that, uh, which means possibly that XRO is now going to be profitable from now on um, and see how it sort of, you know, reflects on the growth itself. I mean, it's going to be interesting, but at, at the very least, I think moving forwards, much, much more comfortable maybe with a company that is going to be having a greater focus on costs. Yeah, listen, I think let's have a look. So if it stays like this, like Dave, like you said, like if it stays like this, I think you're you're looking at this company and go, it's a buy for me. Yeah, well, and I just want to see te technically where Can't it's Can't hear you, Dave. Dave. Can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. You were, you were, you were. Okay, I just want to, I just want to see where this is by the end of the week. Uh, now, yeah. Wolfie, uh, I mean, and look at, um, look at Maya, because, the, mm -hmm. you know, talk about stories coming back from the dead. I remember when mm -hmm. we, we said, you got to buy Maya when it had that move up. You, the charts yes, never lied. And and you, like, you're, you're joking. <laughs> you're joking, Dave. What are you talking about? But look, yeah. it's a doubler since then, right? Hello. Hello. Right. And look at that. Look at look at that. Buy signal back there. Are you going to really buy that? Mm -hmm. Buy signal. It's all in the charts. And so, I mean, you know, if that looked like that by the end of the week, it's a buy. You, you, you can't argue with technicals. Absolutely, it's a buy. So if you didn't know what the company does, you'd be going, I'm lapping this up, I'm buying this, and got a nice stop just below one, right? So all up, looks great. But as a buy itself, you know, is this, is this as good as it gets? That's the more bad question for you because the report was very strong. Uh, and I know I saw some numbers, right? Because I've been, I've been looking at some, I've been doing some Kaplan, by the way, right? So I've been doing some, obviously, some, some education as we have to, uh, being in this industry. And there was an article about, and the retail stuff. And they said that the strongest part of retail at the moment is actually in department stores, which are now this reflects positively on this, uh, on the back of this. So this is quite interesting. However, like I said, is this the best as it gets, especially when we see more interest rate rises and we've seen some retailers starting to look a little bit sick. So um, I think there's a trade in this, but stop loss very, very tight. Yeah, I don't want to say this again, but it, it's ever since they gave my son Marcus a job in there. <laughs> <laughs> they, he, you know. He's now obviously the you know the the dude that's bringing this place up yeah. to uh, up 
standard of, of, of buying, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, he's always late to work and I can't believe he's still in the job, but obviously it's he's, do, he's doing something there. Um, good yes. little, I'm so proud of him. Oh, oh, God. Lovely boy. Does he get some shares, shares working for Maya? No, no, he don't. He, he, he just gets told off for looking scruffy all the time, I think. Um, like his father. Uh, like his dad, <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. So um, let's move to Santos, STO. Yes. Now I want to quickly mention this one because there, there was an article in, in uh, IFR. It's looking much better on the charts. And the reason why the, the article basically said there's a there's a value in this. The value can be extracted to about 10 bucks, right? Which is a long way away from where it is right now. If they refocus the whole energy because they, they've gone, went into this growth strategy um, about 12, 24 months ago, right? Which is, you can see, it's done nothing. It's been going sideways for 20, for that, for that, like all the other peers day in this space have been going up and up and up and up. You see WDS, you know, kicking almost a uh, record highs. So, at the end of the day, something needs to change. And I for me, this has always been a takeover target. And probably there will be some more movement, I'd say, in this. And I think they have they had some previous takeover takeovers uh, which didn't eventuate. You know, they will probably come again. There's probably value in this, like the, the article suggests. Um, so if there's a trade in this, I'd probably be trading this. No problem. Uh, this again, is quality, quality company. Again, Wolf, I think if you look like this by the end of the week, you'd you'd be you'd be well in, champ. Yeah. Um all right, now let's have a look at Goodman Group. Uh, All right, so I'm going to go back to FN Arena now. So you, you, you're, you're going to go on to FN Arena, which would talk through some of these updates uh, from the brokers because quite interesting to see where they're at. And you know what? It also gives us, because we don't have the, um, the firepower, we don't have the reach like some of the big brokers, they give us an insight when they you know, spread out their wings to give us uh, a bit more commentary. All right, and I'll tell you what the commentary is. So for Goodman Group, UBS, obviously they are based in Europe, right? UBS um, out of uh, Switzerland. So this is what they say. Um, UBS observed the Goodman European Partnership is a major contributor to Goodman Group earnings and assesses the partnership's annual report. The broker notes uh, that um, the Goodman European Partnership provisions for performance fees has fallen down, um, but is in good position to continue buying Goodman Group developed assets. Um, basically what they're saying, the broker estimates that potential contributions 230 in development profits. Um, and so they're pretty happy with how things are going. Steady as she goes and a buy rating of $23 target price retained. So what they see in Europe, the crux of the story is what they see in Europe, they are comfortable with, um, you know, which we don't normally see. So for me, this is a hold. If you're looking at longer term, this is a buy. And and Wolf, just have a look, Credit Suisse at 2169. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, they they ha they haven't upgraded uh, they haven't upgraded their forecast. The only one that I've seen that has is UBS, and yep. you've got Macquarie as well. What are they saying about Macquarie Wolf? Okay, so Macquarie. Uh, let's have a look. So I think there was Morgan Stanley talking about Macquarie. So just going down, and here we go. We've got overweight from so Morgan Stanley. Uh, again, overweight, two hundred thirty-one price target retained. They're really loving. So they had a presentation in the US. Really loving what they're saying. Honestly, it looks like they are super astute guys at Macquarie. They sort of almost at the forefront of the trends that are happening. So if there's, you know, if there's something happening in the AI space, they're already investing into that space. If there's green revolution, they are already in the they are, looks like they're very good willing dealers, right? So Macquarie for me still a hold. Um, possibly if it comes back to 180, maybe even a buy, Dave. All right, excellent. Now, COS is yep. in the news again. Uh, you know, good looking share price. It's on a roll. There's a little bit of profit taking. Um, it's holding above a, a regressive trend, which I don't mind that at all. What's what news have you had on Coswolf? All right. So initiation of coverage. So, uh, you know, it's a small company. So it's nice to see a, a new broker coming up on board and start talking about Cos. Ordinary is a smaller player, but still reasonably sized in Australia. Um, initiation of coverage over the buy price target of $1.07, right? So up there. Uh, and obviously very, very happy, 56% owned by uh, management and insiders, you know, likely traders, but they are really liking what they're seeing there. So yeah, one again, for me, the fund has actually been accumulating this, by the way. So just letting you know, in the 70s and early 80s, we've been accumulating this to make a, to make a substantial position for ourselves. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking this company. 
Oh, all right. And lastly, but not least, little gold player RXM. Uh, yep. Did they come up with some news? Um, no, that, again, this is all from um, FN Arena, and I'll give you a quick rundown on this one. Uh, and you'll be pleased to see that uh, RXM, where are we? Where are we? Here we go. For Morgans, uh, speculative buy, they've got a price target of 49 cents, Dave. So, what, again, way up there, talking about the next really big catalyst is going to be the funding. If they can get funding and they're talking about middle of the year sometime, this is going to be probably very rated from there, right? Because once you get the funding, you can build the bloody thing. All right, I've got one more thing for you, right? Before we move on, and that's, again, from the FN Arena, and that's MMS, because I know this is your hot stock. So I'll give you a quick round on MMS. And here we go. Uh, Macquarie rates it as outperformed. Uh, with a price target of fourteen seventy eight, and I think they paid their dividend this week, actually. Yeah, I don't think they did that today, actually. Today, yeah, so that's why they're down a little bit. Okay, yeah. well, they look it looks like they're holding up quite well with their div. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um. All right. It's so like, we're it's... Really positive, quite positive for our stock follow that we've got in a portfolio. So happy to obviously hold them. Um. And yeah, so steady as she goes for us. All right, brilliant, Wolf. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, so, no exact buys today, but certainly stocks that a lot. Of, uh, we we've definitely got possibly STO, uh, XRO, and and maybe MYR even looking for buys on Friday. So thank you very much for yeah. that, Wolfie. Thank you. So just have to wait another day. That's all. Uh, Cheers, guys. <laughs> See you, Wolfie. Bye bye. Take bye. care. Bye.